Good evening. <laughs> well, standing up. Well, standing up. So, but I really, I love that smoke and thank you so much for bringing that to us. So, we brought Griselle here. I do. Opportunities to showcase work. Um, this piece is called Wedding Heist, the Heist Girls. Um, I got engaged a few months ago. Woo! And I uh, started wedding planning, and I was like, everything is so expensive. I bet a lot of people contemplate robbing banks while they do this. And then just started thinking, like, wait, is there a movie out there about people that rob banks for this? And there isn't. And I said, well, I guess I have to write it. And uh, it just kind of went from there. So we have a bride who uh, kind of comes up with this convoluted scheme with her bridal party and her fiance. And, uh, you know, things kind of get out of hand, of course. And that's, uh, you're going to see the beginning of it. Um, and and it, it, it'll evolve. And uh, yeah, it's the first of few pages. Um, so I will let the cast explain it and take it away so if I could get my yeah. <laughs> Disposition. The tableau freezes. Mom, Beth, are you there? It looks like you're frozen. That's just our faces. <laughs> <laughs> what is this news you want to tell us? <laughs> Could this not have been an email? <laughs> <laughs> Sean and I wanted to tell you in person. She holds up a ring that we got engaged. Silence <laughs> <laughs> from her parents. Okay, you definitely froze this time. I Said, we got engaged! Yay! <laughs> we, we heard you, but I can hardly see the ring is so small. <laughs> Tanya and Sean look at each other concerned. Um, uh, Mr. and Mrs. Pinto, I um thought about asking for your daughter's hand in marriage, but that seemed a little old-fashioned. Why ask permission when you can ask for forgiveness? <laughs> um, something like that. Well, you could have always asked, I'm missing. He's, he's asking now, aren't you, Sean? Um, yes. <laughs> so, sir, ma'am, I um, love your daughter very much, and we have decided to get married, and I hope that you will bless our union. How, is that good? <laughs> Marriage is very difficult, as Tanya knows very well, after all, this will be her second marriage. Mom! What, I'm not saying that your first marriage was a disaster, even though it was. <laughs> Lessons were learned. The biggest one was by us, and that was not to spend any more money on future weddings. <laughs> what is the point of paying thousands and poof, down the drain? I had to burn that photo album with pictures of your horrible ex, and it cost me 
thousand dollars. <laughs> so yes, congratulations. <laughs> we are happy for you. <laughs> My advice is to not spend a lot of money. We're not paying for another wedding. Mom, I would never dream of asking you to pay for it. No, but you were hoping that we would offer. <laughs> <laughs> Please, Mr. and Mrs. Pinto, it would be our pleasure to host you at our wedding. Well, that's more like it. I always say, if a couple can't afford to pay for their own wedding, then they have no business getting married in the first place. Cut to interior barn day. Tanya and Sean stand with Farmer Joe, who is showing them an alternative wedding reception venue. So for the extra five hundred dollars, <laughs> didn't clean up the cow shit. <laughs> and do you include the tables and chairs? Nope. Got to bring your own. <laughs> so you just provide the barn <laughs> for three thousand dollars. <laughs> Monday through Thursday, Friday is three thousand five hundred, and Saturday is four thousand dollars. What about Sunday? Sunday's church. Witness on the Lord's Day of Rest. A cow walks past. <laughs> oh, don't mind her. It's just Bessie. We tie her up in the back here in events. <laughs> Unless you want fresh milk, then that's two hundred and fifty dollars. <laughs> Some people like to include that as an open note. <laughs> Interior Los Angeles apartment day. Tanya researches wedding venues on her computer while Sean makes an ultimate wedding playlist. Why can't you just tell me how much it's going to cost total for each person up front? What is this plus 10% tax, plus 18% service fee, plus 20% gratuity? I feel bad enough without them making me do an SAT problem. There's no good mother-son dance songs. <laughs> they, they all sound creepy if it's to your mom. <laughs> I literally need a whole new job to pay for this wedding. Dog sitting just isn't gonna cut it. I can see if I can get some overtime at the record store. <laughs> Honey, <laughs> that will get us a Monday afternoon reception for 10 people tops cash bar. No, I'm, I'm thinking we have to talk to Svetlana. She drives a Tesla. You know, she works for some real sketchy people. <laughs> She's just a cocktail waitress. <laughs> oh, really? What bar do you know that is open until 7 in the morning? I'm sure she's a high enooker, but I don't mind because Yaya here, Jaja here, is adorable. Are you cute? Tanya picks up a well-groomed shih tzu. You want to start working as a high-priced call girl to pay for our wedding? <laughs> call me conservative, but I'm not down with that. <laughs> other things we can do at her establishment that are a little less nasty and, um, you know, but also pay well. Tanya's phone dings. Oh, she's picking up Jaja in a minute. I'm gonna ask her. Please don't. <laughs> do you have any better ideas? Uber. <laughs> Uber Eats. <laughs> oh, okay, great. So now we're at 20 people. Taco Buffet. Sounds lovely. A knock at the door. Tanya opens it to reveal Svetlana. She's only 22, but has already had lots of work done. <laughs> <laughs> oh, where's my Zsa Gabor? Here she is. She was very good, as always. Oh, come to mama. Tanya hands over Zsa over, who growls and nips at Svetlana. Uh, so, Svetlana, as you know, we, we got engaged. Mm, yes, I know. You don't stop talking about it. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, we've been wedding planning. And still, I get no invitation. <laughs> it's still early. <laughs> it, it's just so expensive. So we were looking for some extra work, and I thought maybe there were some um, opportunities available where you work. I, I know you're a cocktail waitress, but I, I was hoping for something that was like less and <laughs> <laughs> so you don't want to be hooker? 
<laughs> oh, wow, so you're just going to come out and say it. <laughs> I, I was up all night screwing bald, fat, ugly, rich guys. I'm too tired to think of, how you say, um, analogs? Analogies, right. Um, <laughs> so yes, if, if you know of any non-sex related work that we can do, Sean here is a great driver. Are they looking for like a private chauffeur to transport these VIP guests from one location to the other? Very discreet. Why are you volunteering me? <laughs> Maybe they need a handy dandy accountant to keep track of their sketchy books. Tanya here is great with record keeping and numbers. Oh, they do need driver, yes. Oh, great! <laughs> to transport drugs. <laughs> oh, again, I guess we're not using analogs. Yeah, the VIP is like to have coke, so we always need supply. They bring it from Mexico. We just lost driver. <laughs> details. There's so many details. And by lost, you mean he quit? Shot. <laughs> Dead. Oh, okay. Well, um, forget we asked. I, I don't think this is the right job for us. I will give you recommendations. No, really. Don't I do. will get commission. <laughs> Obviously, you would owe me. <laughs> really? You think it would pay well? Oh, well, like big time. Like chocolate fondue deserve upgrade on our wedding big time? <laughs> or like the ice sculpture in the middle of August that they refresh. <laughs> Exterior restaurant afternoon. Tanya sits eating brunch and drinking mimosas with her three bridesmaids and best friends since high school. Haley and Amber are identical twins, but you can't tell them apart. <laughs> Haley is direct and practical, while Amber tries to stay neutral and plays peacemaker. There is also Wild Savannah, who used to visit her uber Christian family in Alabama every summer, and then somehow retained a very southern accent. So, obviously, Sean and I can't get involved in this criminal enterprise. Transporting drugs, prostitution, I can't believe I was even considering this. Wedding is just so expensive. I was losing my mind coming up with solutions. Just have us hold one flower each. We don't need a whole bouquet. You're not part of the commercial system. What? No, 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 no. I want a nice big bouquet, y'all. You know, that's gonna look, one that's gonna look nice in the picture. One measly flower? Oh, why don't you just go buy a funeral home and steal some flowers from the dead guy's grave on your way to the wedding? <laughs> why don't you throwing out those bad ideas? I heard one bride found out the information of the bride that was getting married at the same venue the day before, got in touch with her, and asked if she could use the same flowers the next day, asking to split the cost. It turned out the bride was nice enough to let her have it for free. Isn't that nice? Maybe you could try the same thing. Are you kidding me? What kind of sad-ass charity case, not to mention stalker shit, are we talking about here? <laughs> I mean, how about you just tell everyone that you're dying of cancer, and then maybe you can get your entire wedding for free? Think that would work. Oh, for the love of God, why not just get married in a courthouse? My wedding was super low key. Look, I'm not like you. You were lucky enough to meet your husband in high school. She told us at prom that she was going to marry Dwayne. And I told her that Grandma Irene was going to kill her. I just wanted a small tea party to represent my British culture. <laughs> yeah, but you serve fried chicken to represent his culture, which I love, by the way. At first, our grandma was appalled, remember? Amber, she was all like, well, I, I did a southern accent. <laughs> so like, well, I never. But then she took one bite of that crispy goodness and was like, well, I'll always. <laughs> I just, I feel like I've been the first in love. Until now. So why shouldn't I celebrate my happy ending? Sean and I don't have a ha big house. We don't get to entertain. This is it for us. Our one hurrah. Where we get to host the ultimate dinner party. The kind of shindig that people will talk about for years. Remember Tanya and Sean's wedding? Man, that steak was delicious. And the view at the venue was just divine. What an awesome night. Plus, I, I want to have my parents look at us like we are real grown-ups and take us seriously. Is that so wrong that I want all this? No, of course not, but we don't want to go into debt. Mm -hmm. Credit cards, baby. That is debt. <laughs> <laughs> Getting back to this crazy idea. Do you guys know 
think we could do it and start working for these guys. The Russian mob? No, I don't think we should start working for these <laughs> No, I mean, not like on an ongoing basis. What do you mean? Like, maybe just rob them? You know, just get enough money for a night wedding and you're done. Oh, yeah, right, just like one heist. One mastermind job where I outwit some criminal mastermind, steal their money where they don't find out it's me so they don't come after me, I get away with a felony, have a kick-ass wedding, and life goes back to normal. Yeah, exactly! Mm. I, I mean, you would not even need to steal that much. <laughs> just, just like a tiny bit, so the mob would hardly notice the money is missing. <laughs> just enough to have a nice wedding. You don't want to make people question how you could afford such a kick-ass wedding. <laughs> they all take a big sip of their drinks. Anyway, I potty trained Bianca, so how exactly would I do that? I don't know, I work for Etsy. I don't know. I'm just thinking back to my philosophy from my shoplifting days. So, yes, I know. Nice necklace, by the way. Oh, thank you. Target, five finger discount. Uh, the Lord does not mind if you steal his artifacts. In fact, he sees as missionary work. Do you know how many people look at my chest? <laughs> anyway, you have no right judging me while contemplating a heist. Say this was possible, you would have to stake out the place, do weeks of recon work. I mean, one of us would probably have to infiltrate the place and work there for, for a few weeks, learn the codes to the safes. Tanya, you, you could not do it since Svetlana knows what you look like. I'm thinking Savannah would be our best bet as the inside man. <gasps> Wait, be our best bet? I'll do it. Once she's in, that guy for security is low, slip the guard a roofie, you know, cut the cameras, put on disguises. Oh my god, I still have the Spice Girls costumes and matching masks from Halloween movies in college. I'm not getting involved in this. You can drive the getaway car. Wait, this is all still hypothetically speaking, right? Yeah, of course. Oh, but would I need to sleep with anyone? Because <laughs> I would. <laughs> this is technically possible. How do you know this? Well, I watch a shit ton of true crime, listen to podcasts, read mystery novels, go on discussion boards. Would I need to tell Sean? Yes. <laughs> we need him in the crew as muscle if something goes wrong. Besides, there are five in the band. Them! The Spice Girls. <laughs> we could be the Heist Girls. <laughs> I'm calling Baby Spice right now! <laughs> dog park day. Tanya and Sean walk a poodle. A crazy looking guy covered in tattoos is shadow boxing by himself. <laughs> he sees them, stops, stares, walks over. Tanya reaches, reaches for a mace. The Sean! Brother! Is that you? <laughs> Patrick! Oh! Hey, buddy! Oh! I didn't recognize you there. T Tanya, this is Patrick. He's the new security guard at the store. Patrick, this is my fiance. Tanya. Hey, I'm sorry if I scared you. I can come across a little intense. <laughs> no, not at all. I've been maced before due to neck tattoos and whatnot. <laughs> Tanya tries to hide her mace. Oh, that's awful. You would be so judgy. I'm just, I'm, I'm glad Sean has you to protect him. There are a lot of crazies around the Boulevard. Oh, no doubt, no doubt. <laughs> this guy is no joke. He knows all the martial arts. Capoeira can literally kill a guy with a finger. How? Yeah, for money, not to get on your back, Sam. The best part is you don't even need a lot of strength. It's all about pressure points. I can teach you some self-defense. He suddenly grabs Sean from behind by the neck. All you have to do is grab someone like so. Sean immediately starts grasping for air. Then count to ten. But you want to do it with the Mississippis in the middle. And sure you don't forget the Mississippis. The Mississippis are up the most most important. Sean's <laughs> breath gets more shallow. Sean, Sean, are you okay? It's, it's fine. I'm only on the fourth Mississippi. <laughs> you won't start to lose vision until about the sixth Mississippi. <laughs> Sean starts to go limp, but Patrick lets go. Oh, oh he's a quick one. <laughs> Does he have any uh, health issues? <laughs> he's lactose intolerant. <laughs> Sean starts to come too. What happened? <laughs> Are you okay, honey? Yeah, but I might need to change my pants. <laughs> and remember, if 
bad boys. He flashes a gun. <laughs> <laughs> 